Stores have been ditching the Forest Fair Mall for years, and soon it'll be demolished. But there is one business that remains, one that people are still seeking out inside what was once the second largest mall in Ohio. Brett Underwood shares what's next for Arcade Legacy. Tilting joysticks and slamming buttons. From guitars to guns, there's a controller for everyone. I just really like arcades, just in general, and I thought it'd just be really fun to, to go here. Inside Arcade Legacy, it's easy to feel like a kid, no matter how old you are. You can play pinball, arcades, we've got uh, console stations, we've got uh, ping pong, and that's all included in your admission. The mall has been home for Jesse Baker's Arcade for a decade. Man, it's been great. Like We, we were skeptical at first when we, uh, when we got here. They, were, they had big plans for the place, and that never happened, but our business took off, and uh, it's been pretty great ever since. But business outside the dark but colorful room has not been good. The mall has been empty for years. Kohl's and Bass Pro Shop are the only other tenants left. As mall walkers do laps around the arcade, Baker knows it's game over for his time at the mall. After the plans fell through 10 years ago for the mall to, to rebuild, it was always on our mind, like now, now what's going to happen? It's been a troubled run for the property since the mall's opening in 1989. It's been sold a few times, and while there were some moments of hope over the last 20 years, nothing worked. Now it's for sale again, but there are no plans to renovate. Demolition is likely, meaning Baker will have to find new outlets to power his passion. That's our, our current goal right now is to find a good space for us to move to. In Fairfield, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. So the company buying the property wants to rezone it for light industrial facilities. Demolition isn't expected to begin until the end of this year.